It's time to hog the airwaves with bikers' first-hand adventures across the country. Ride with us and keep yourself informed on issues, events, and everything else bikers want to know. You're listening to the Bikers Inner Circle Internet Radio Show. You're listening to Good Time Charlie on Bikers Inner Circle Underground Radio. All right, how y'all doing? It's Good Time Charlie checking out Bikers Inner Circle. And uh, we were at the Feed Twin Show, me and my good friend Biker Rogue, and uh, we got to interview a couple of different people, uh, uh, Ironworks Magazine, uh, Rick over there at Samson Exhaust Systems, uh, one and only Keith Ball, BikerNet, and last but not least, we even ran into uh, Mr. All in Ness. So here's a little bit of what we did over at the Feed Twin Show, and like I say, we had a blast, and... Uh, Next stop is uh, this week coming up. We'll be in Indy and uh, over there and uh, doing the Lucas Hall uh, Industry Party. All right, so check this out. Good Tom Charlie signing out. Hi, uh, I'm Paul Holsworth. I'm one of the uh, representatives for Ironworks Magazine. We're celebrating our 21st year. We love the V Twin Show. We love motorcycles. We're happy to be here. And now, uh, uh, what's some of the stuff you put in your magazine? Well, we try to mix it up. We try to do uh, scratch-built bikes, uh, handcrafted motorcycles. Uh, we like to do stories on people with a new bike and the changes they're going to make. We see handlebars, tires, exhaust system. Well, you might call it a stage one performance. Do you cover uh, any of the rallies or? Uh, we don't do too many events. Uh, we just we about the bike. Mostly about the bikes. Uh, we might do some coverage this year on the Dunny Smith Show. Cool. But mostly it's about the bikes. Uh, we have an issue, we call it our keeping your old bike on the road. Uh, if you've got an older high mileage bike, you know, things you look for to keep getting uh, a positive experience out of it. Uh, so we, you know, we try to, and then we also do vintage. We have a seasoned citizen section where we Ooh. look at, uh, we'll go revisit uh, classic motorcycles of the past, American made bikes. And, and what's your website? Our website is ironworksmag.com or iwblogger.com. Well, thank you for being on the show. Bro, yeah. how you doing, buddy? Started off with uh, him letting me try out one of his exhaust systems. I fell in love with it. I've used it for a year. I've been working on a couple of different projects with some other different companies and stuff. And uh, he's got also donated the partner to the, uh, the Hall of Fame motorcycle. I'd like them to tell you something about the product and why they should buy it. Why should buy it, Samson? Yeah. Well, for one thing, we're 100% American made. We even insist that our raw steel comes from the U.S. I mean, I'm that adamant about American made products. Yeah. How long have you been in business? I've been in business for well over 20 years. And, uh, but I've been making pipes since the late 60s. Very cool. Fabricating pipes with uh, vent tubing, welding together with a sunny torch and coat hanger. Yeah, I remember that Oh, yeah. yeah. We, we, you know, back in those days, if you wanted something, you couldn't just go and buy it. You had to make it. So, uh, uh, and that, and you, that you, kind of experience led in. Well, yeah, we all of our exhaust systems have those two sensors, so it's a it's a bolt-on issue. It, I mean, it, it's it's not a, it's not a problem bolting our product right onto a motorcycle. So, what do you think uh, the economy and do uh, you think it's starting to come back up a little bit or? Well, we're already looking. We're, we're already seeing signs of the economy recovery. Cool. So, uh, I mean, here at the V Twin Show yesterday, compared to last year on Saturday. I'd say the attendance doubled, which is a really good indication that our industry is coming back, and and the economy is coming back. So uh, hopefully, I'm, I'm always looking at things with an optimistic view. Uh, I think that 2012 is going to be another year that we start to break out. Maybe not 
come out with a big blast, but, but we're going to come out and start recovering out of uh, the economic slump that we've been in. Uh, I mean, more people are uh, going back to work. I mean, those, are, those numbers are facts, and uh, it, it's a slow process, but we are we're coming back. So, uh, now you have a couple of bikes in the Sturgis Museum, don't you? Uh, more than a couple. I have 13 <laughs> yeah. in the museum. How many? 13. 13. Yeah. So you know just as well as I do that they need a bigger building. I mean, they it's... They certainly do, and I have more bikes for them, but they just don't have room. Right. Well, yeah. we're, we're going to make that happen where you can put some more of your bikes in there. Well, I've got some really special ones that really shouldn't be in there. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, we're going to keep doing it every year. We're going to build a bike every year and and all year long uh, to buy the tickets. And uh, uh, I watched other people do raffles, and they hurry up and build a bike, and they do it quick. And then it don't help the, the, the people that donated the stuff. So by doing it where it takes a whole year, uh, you get a lot of advertisement, and it, it, it's a win-win situation for everybody. Well, you know, the other thing about it is we're just really glad to be able to help the museum. That's, I mean, that's my point. Is that, you know, okay, we might get some press out of it, but my intention is to help the museum. Well, it always has been. That's why my bikes are there, and, uh, uh, and I, I'd love to go and visit them. Well, D Danny Ray told me to especially uh, thank you, and, and uh, he really appreciate what you did for him. And, Whatever they need, I'm there for them. You know, and so, and, and the bikes, uh, I don't know if you, I think I showed you the pit, the, the bike, the, oh, the bike is nice. It came out really good. It came out really nice. So, uh, uh, yeah. so, so how people get to your website so they can get some of your products? Well, our website is www.samsonusa.com. Or they can reach us at 888-5-SAMSON. Just give us a call. We're there for you. We answer any questions you have. We now have 741 different part numbers. We have so much to choose from. It's unbelievable. So whatever you want, we can probably have it. And if you want to be really lazy, right off of my site, there's a big logo. All you got to do is click it, and it goes right to your website. Oh, thank you very much, Charlie. You're welcome. I, I love you, brother. Love you. And uh, were you there when we did Johnny Be Good, or did you leave before we got to do the on the stage when we all did Johnny Be Good? I think I was there. Yeah. Did you, did you <laughs> sing? Right. Yeah. Did you no, sing? Yeah. Right on. <laughs> okay, well, we're going to be doing that again. Okay. Looking okay. To it. All right, so get that Johnny Be Good That's ready. A lot of fun. Thank you so much. I'm uh, Keith Vanderball. I'm here at uh, the V Twin Expo, and you got to check out bikernet.com and make sure you go to the PM booth. Amazing stuff. And when you get a chance, yeah. check out Five Ball Blues. It's a great <laughs> song, and uh, the guy that wrote it's a great guy. <laughs> and don't miss Charlie Brechtel. <laughs> all right. Okay, I know it. Hi, Allen. How are we doing? Doing good. How you been doing? Doing great. Right. Can't wait to get back to California, huh? Uh, yeah, get to uh, go to uh, Florida this year. Gonna... I'll be there. I'm in Daytona. I'm opening up a Jack with the uh, destination. Uh, Daytona. With it, Daytona, yeah. <laughs> okay. But, uh, hey, yeah. I love you. I haven't been there for a couple years. I'm going this year. I love you. I love all your work, and I, I always promote you on my, uh, my show. Hey, appreciate that. You're welcome.